Hi, this is Rabbi David Kay at Congregation Ohev Shalom. Judaism teaches us that preserving and protecting our health is a mitzvah. It's a spiritual as well as a moral obligation. As more information comes in on the novel coronavirus, COVID-19, we're monitoring the recommendations of the Centers for Disease Control, the World Health Organization, and local public health agencies on an hour-by-hour -hour basis. Last week, we emailed everyone in the congregation with the guidelines we've been following so far. This week, I want to tell you about some more steps that we've added. First, we've added additional cleaning and disinfecting regimens in public areas. Second, we want you to know that services will be held this evening at 7.30 p.m. tomorrow morning, Saturday at 9.30 a.m. And there's also a bat mitzvah tomorrow evening. Now, if you are at risk for complications from coronavirus, and that includes the elderly, those whose immune systems are weakened or compromised, anyone who is actively sick, or anyone with an underlying medical condition, especially if it involves breathing, or if you're just uncomfortable being out in public with a group of people, please join us for services from home by watching on live stream. To watch on live stream Friday night or Shabbat morning or Shabbat afternoon, go to the Ohev Shalom website, ohevshalom.org, scroll down the home page to the live stream logo, click on that logo to go directly to our live stream channel. You can also access the COS live stream channel at livestream.com slash Ohev Shalom. For those of you who will be attending services in person, we ask you to refrain from hugging, kissing, and handshaking. When saying Shabbat Shalom, there are three traditional gestures that convey the same message and the same feeling without physical contact. There's the Middle Eastern custom of placing a hand over your heart. There is the Asian custom of placing palms together. And there is the Vulcan custom of live long and prosper. Please also refrain from kissing the Torah scroll, both during the procession around the sanctuary and if you're called for an aliyah. On Friday night, Arab Shabbat services are going to be held in the sanctuary, a larger space that allows those attending to spread out more if they feel the need to. Finally, there's the question that's foremost on everyone's mind. What about the food? We're suspending Oneg Shabbat on Friday nights for the time being, beginning tonight. However, Kiddush lunch on Shabbat morning will continue for the time being with several important changes. Number one, our in-house kitchen manager and our outside approved caterers are following additional protocols to ensure safe handling and preparation of all food. Second, all food will be served to you individually by gloved staff and volunteers, cafeteria style. Please do not take anything from the table yourself or replace anything on the table after a server has given it to you. If you requested something and it turns out you don't like it or you don't want it, just discard it. And third, food service will begin only when all of the servers are in place. Please do not enter the ballroom or start taking food before services have completed. The servers are in their place and we let you know it's time to get into the line. And again, please do not take anything from the table. It may take a little longer to get through the line to get your lunch, so we appreciate your patience. Our staff and lay leadership are in an ongoing conversation and we're making adjustments daily as more and more information becomes available. Your health and your well-being physically and spiritually are our top priority. We'll be in regular communication with you, keeping you up to date on any changes. That includes confirming by Thursday afternoon of each week whether Shabbat services will be held that Friday and Saturday. So please keep an eye out for emails, Facebook posts, phone calls, or texts from Congregation Ohev Shalom. Shabbat is a day of rest and rejuvenation.
a chance to distance ourselves from the pressures and the worries of the work week. Whether you are joining us in person for services or via live stream, you are part of a congregational family, and we wish you and yours Shabbat Shalom, Umivorach, a blessed and a peaceful Shabbat.